Hey, what's up guys? It is John. And Ashton, we're back again with another reaction video. And today's video, we're gonna be reacting in We're gonna be reacting to Savonarola. I don't know how to say that. Monk on a hot tin roof by the channel History Bites Official. The link is down in the description. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you go and subscribe. It is important to support the channels that you love. That it is I the fuck. What? I don't know. I'm just being dumb. Hey, I like the energy I had going into it. Okay. This is just a suggestion from Burnsa111. Thank you so much for the support. As usual, you guys can also help support the channel if you want to. Just click on that link down below in the descriptor. If they're on through Streamlabs, and let you pick one of the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10. Include the videos. Link title, your email. Follow me on my social medias right up here, you awesome people. And let's get right into this video. And let's do it. Monk on a hot tin roof. This is going to be interesting. Another one. Monks are kind of one of those crazy deals where they'll light themselves on fire with gasoline at the point. Fresh Prince of Lesbos. Read these. Aztec's most Bill wanted. Nye the Alchemy Guy. Bill Nye the Alchemy Guy. I love it. <laughs> Bill Nye the Alchemy Guy. Over the years, a number of televangelists, Pat Robertson, Jerry Falwell, have all run for public office in the United States. They didn't win, but an evangelical preacher in a position of political power? Well, that's pretty much what did happen in 15th century Florence. The preacher's name was Girolamo Savonarola, and his sermons were so stirring, he ended up running the city. By 1498, Savonarola was in trouble. Excommunicated from the church, his followers were losing faith. They wanted proof his apocalyptic prophecies were true and therefore his <coughs> excommunication was wrong. They decided to use the medieval lie detector, a trial by ordeal. If a man could walk through fire and not turn into a crispy critter, then hey, he had to be telling the truth. What? <laughs> this showdown had danger, spectacle, and hype. The only thing missing was television. Tonight on Monday Night Fireball, a couple of old rivalries heat up once again. It's upstart challenger Savonarola versus His Holiness the Pope. It's the Franciscans versus the Dominicans. It's trial by Ardeal 98. The Friars in the Fires. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. Antonio Rodini here with the preacher turned colored man Giovanni Malagesti. And of course, the newest member of Monday Night Fireball team, Denisu Milleri. How's it feel to be here in the booth, Deniso? Well, it's a little scary. I, uh... Try not to think about the cameras. No, no, I meant the fact that uh, we're this close to a blazing inferno inside a wooden room. <laughs> 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 well, as if the Lord would ever allow spectators to die at a sporting event, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, but seriously, Giovanni, a lot on the line here in today's contest. Well, you got that right, Antonio. First of all, you've got the Dominican Friars of San Marco, led by the much maligned Geralamo Savonarola. He's bad-mouthing the church, he's bad-mouthing the Pope, and now he may be about to get his mouth washed with fire. Oh, ouch, I just hate that, huh? Yeah, that fire taste stays with you for days. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a make-or-break <laughs> contest today with Brother Savonarola. For more, let's go down live to Pyre Level, where Leslie Vici is standing by with the preacher himself. Savonarola, in the time that your party's been in power in Florence, you have said the church needed to be reformed. You predicted a scourge in Italy, and you supported King Charles of France over the Pope. Now you have a chance to prove the validity of your message by passing that trial by fire, walking through that raging bonfire. What do you think your chances are out there today? Well, it's do or die or die today, Leslie, but we're going to stick to the game plan. We're going to take it one flame at a time and give it 110 degrees. And if the Lord is on our side today, preferably, we can go out there and make something happen today. <laughs> Hopefully a miracle. <laughs> now, when you say we... Oh, that would be me and Brother Domenico here. He's a loyal follower. He really wanted to be a part of this. So I said, okay, uh, why don't you be the one who walks through the fire? <laughs> but oh, my God. The heart, you know, providing the guidance and the holy message that will keep him safe. Never underestimate the importance of a good coach. Right. Back to you, Antonio. What the hell? Tonight on Movies for Guys Who Like Movies, Steve McQueen in The Great Escape. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at our lineup. You imagine? By ordeal, you trip. Right. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. 
really wasn't paying attention there. I was just too busy trying to imagine these firewalkers going from game face to char face. <laughs> well, the Franciscans are led by Friar Francesco de Puglia. Brother Francesco has repeatedly denounced Savonarola, calling him a heretic and a schismatic before issuing the trial by fire challenge. Strong words from the Franciscans. Indeed. But being the type of competitor he is, Francisco was willing to back up those words by sending brother Giuliano Rondinelli to enter the fire in his place. Now, a lot of <laughs> enter the fire in his place. Good match of the Franciscans. <laughs> versus a raging inferno. Rumor is he's scared, and you know the old saying, if you can't stand the heat, you're probably standing in a fire. <laughs> You know, uh, from the looks of his picture there, he may be able to retard the flames by uh, wetting his pants. <laughs> Two champions who have come out of nowhere to meet the trial by fire challenge. The stupid Is this humor. Mm -hmm. A Cinderella story? Or just the cinders? Find out when we return with Trial by Ordeal 98 Friars in the Fire. <laughs> Even at the height of his power and popularity, Savonarola had enemies in Florence the Arabiati and the Compagnacci. Now, the Arabiati were a political party striving to impeach Savonarola. The Compagnacci were more of a party party. They were a street gang, albeit a rich one, financed by their wealthy merchant fathers. Now, they weren't governed by political protocol, so rather than debate their points, they just hurled insults and dead animals. No, not because I say so, because the Pope says so. The Pope's the one who excommunicated him. Pope Alexander? You're going to listen to a man who's sleeping with his own daughter? Hey, hey, these rumors about the Pope are completely unsubstantiated. Besides, have you seen his daughter? Oh. <laughs> that Lucretia Borgia is a major hottie. I agree. Excuse me? Yeah. Oh, look, you guys are never going to be objective about Savonarola. The Eurybiati and the Compagnati exist for one purpose only, to ruin Savonarola, regardless of what type of hooliganism is involved. Mm, come on, girl! Political organization. When have we ever been engaged in acts of hooliganism? How about when you coated the pulpit of Savonarola's church with the putrefied remains of a donkey carcass? That was good, clean fun. And nobody was hurt. Well, except the donkey. Yeah. <laughs> what about the last bonfire of the vanities was disrupted by the Campagnacci in a premeditated act of civil disruption. Premeditated? We just got a little upset at what we were seeing at the wastefulness of it all, and so we just started throwing whatever we had with us at the crowd. And you just happened to have a bunch of dead cats and chickens? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe about that. Good one. Oh, you people have regular... I am a member of the Weepers, and our party will support Savonarola till the end. He taught us so much. Like, not to apologize for showing our true emotions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a member of the Compagnati, so obviously I'm rooting for the Franciscan dick. Go Frisky! Go <laughs> Frisky! Yeah. But you know, something like this is just an excuse to get out with the boys, have a few brewskis, and you know, uh, hurl a few dead animals at them weepers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Savonarola fan or a Pope Alexander <clears throat> fan. I'm a fan of the sport. As long as it's a good, clean match and uh, somebody ends up on fire, I'll be happy. <laughs> go Flames, go! Go Flames, go! <laughs> go, flames, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Terrible! Not a chuckle! Elaine, the world is changing. Not fast enough for me. This whole humanist thing is really starting to get to me. Every guy I go out with lately is trying to better himself. They're so nice and human. Whatever happened to good old-fashioned animalism? <laughs> Look at this. You can't even find a good peacock sandwich anymore. You're just mad because you can't find any work. Maybe you should take a good look in the mirror. Well, I guess you're right. No noble's gonna hire a guy who looks like me. Oh, come on. You're not that ugly, Jerry. That's the problem. Audiences weren't ugly. If I was deformed or a dwarf, I'd get booked into the big places just like that. You are a little funny looking. Well, thanks for saying that, but I haven't got what it takes to be a performer. Are they all that weird looking? All the biggies. Morgantino, the dancing dwarf, Ganella of Florence. Nobody laughs at a regular guy anymore. Hey, 
Well, let's check in with Leslie Vici down in the Dominican Investment Room. Leslie. Thanks, Antonio. I'm here with Brother Domenico de Pescia. <laughs> Domenico, you must be getting nervous this close to our deal time. Well, there are always a few butterflies before a big match, but I think they'll melt away once we get into it. So you're confident? <laughs> oh, absolutely, yes. Well, what this ordeal is all about is, is who's telling the truth. And I feel that if we're right, then I have nothing to fear. So you believe all of the prophecies made by Savonarola are true? Leslie, was Savonarola telling the truth when he prophesied that a disaster would occur and that very same evening the cupola of the Santa Maria di Fiore was struck by lightning? I mean, <laughs> what else could it be? Coincidence? Well... Was it a coincidence that he predicted that all evildoers would be punished, and then a couple of years later, the illegitimate son of the Pope died? I'm not sure that even qualifies as a coincidence. Or the prophecy that the entire land would be scourged, and then the appearance of King Charles' forces in Italy? Hmm? Well, yeah, but his French armies haven't even done any scourging. Uh, no, uh, not yet, but you know, Italy's a very large country, and it takes a very long time to scourge. <laughs> Besides, you know, Leslie, um, in the prophecy game, there really is no timetable, much less in the, in the scourging game. You know, I have never known Brother Savonarola to speak anything but the truth of God, so uh, I feel we're going to be fine, you know? I'm ready to face those tongues of flame and take a licking. <laughs> there you have it! Back to you, Antonio! <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. When we come back... The fire of righteous truth really heats up. Back in 1498 in Florence, the charismatic Dominican friar Savonarola was in trouble for a number of reasons. He'd condemned the church, he'd predicted the apocalypse was at hand, he'd driven out the ruling Dude, I want to see these guys walk into the flame. And he refused to sign up Florence with the Holy League. This was a group of Italian city-states who were united by their hatred for the French. Savonarola had hoped that the French leader, King Charles, would attack these other Italian cities and force the Holy League to go the way of the WHA. Okay, guys, that's actually past the 12 minute, or the 11 minute mark. Um, there it is. Uh, thank you so much for support as usual. Hopefully, I wanted to see them go into the flame though, to be real. Yes, we won't finish it off. Um, so if you guys still want us to finish that then we'll we'll keep it available for you guys to suggest it yeah but yeah i want to see it too it's gonna be so funny dude this is hilarious because the idea that they put this into a tv show format i didn't know it was like that like honestly the trial by fire thing i'm guessing is actually real some kind of event they did back then but they elect somebody to go for them ain't nobody being like okay this kind of sounds like bull right right no. right yeah, I'm going to walk into this blender for you, definitely, because I have faith that you're telling but me the back truth. back then, you know, that's true. things were weird. Yeah. Very weird. Right, and they tell you they have faith in religion, you look at this, and you're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I can't wait to see the rest Same. of that. Guys, it's going to be interesting. Go check out the channel that is History Bites if you want to see it yourself. It'd probably be funny. Heck and yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Peace out.